Dr. Mohamed Sanisu Barkindo is an internationally recognized diplomat who worked for more than three decades in OPEC that included the movers and shakers of the world oil industry. Dr. Bakinde was first appointed Nigeria's delegate to OPEC in 1986 and rose to become its Secretary General in 2016, a post he was to hold for six years till the end of July 2022. Mr. Bakinde oversaw one of the most turbulent periods in the organization's history, beginning with the creation of the OPEC Plus coalition just months after his appointment. Just months after his appointment in summer of 2016. Mr. Barkinde established the once unthinkable partnership with non-OPEC members in the Declaration of Cooperation in 2016. He was OPEC Secretary General during the pandemic and the Russian-Ukraine hostilities which started in February of 2022. In his role as OPEC Secretary General, he is said to have aggregated the interests of his organization and those of the global oil industry, including rival producers of shale in the U.S., striking an unlikely rapport that sued years of acrimony between the producers. Of Nigeria's energy calendar. He was expected home as a guest speaker in one of his last official assignments at the ongoing Nigerian oil and gas conference in the nation's capital territory, Abuja, when he made a very compelling statement about the current state of the global oil economy and its future. In charge of affairs of OPEC has been a very challenging time for the global oil industry. But prior to that engagement, he had gone to the villa to meet with Mr. President, who showered encomiums on him. So it was a great deal of shock that barely hours after, he was gone. Many of those who had an opportunity to have interacted with him had this to say. Very brilliant fellow, rose to the highest point of, uh, of work or position in NPC as uh, Group Managing Director of NPC. And since he left that position, he has engaged in the industry positively for the industry and for the country. Mr. Barkinde was also the Group Managing Director of NMPC between 5th January 2009 to 6th April 2010. More recently, he's actually been a very strong uh, advocate for inclusiveness in the debates about the energy transition. Uh, to have a place uh, for us as um, uh, a country, but also for member countries of OPEC. I think you'll be remembered for really navigating the industry through those very turbulent times, especially from 2020 to, uh, to sadly 2022. A condolence register has been opened here at the OPEC stand um, at the ongoing conference of the Nigeria Oil and Gas here in Abuja. That's the picture and that is the condolence register. It therefore means he won't be able to tell us that story again. But some of us can tell that story to say that this is a man that unified the globe in terms of balancing economics and energy supply. And he will be remembered for his fight for energy security, energy sufficiency, amidst geopolitical tensions. From here in Abuja, Lou Phillips, Channel Television News.